sometimes in our excitement to plant a new tree, especially like a, a new fruit tree, like an, like an apple, we get it planted and we fertilize and we water and we get excited about its, its growth and then we forget to protect it through the winter time. Then we see some damage that happens through the winter time. So I'm going to show you how to protect your young new trees, especially that, that new young bark that's developed on, on a lot of those trees as they've grown through the summertime. It's how to protect that through the winter so you don't see any splitting or any damage through the winter. So what happens is, uh, here's, a, here's an apple tree that's ready to be planted. What happens is in the winter time, the sap will freeze inside the, the tree and it'll freeze solid. But then when we get some snow on the ground and we get a couple warm sunny days in February, you can get that reflected sunlight coming off the snow. So not only is the, the sun hitting the bark, but then you get the reflected light coming off as well too. And it'll actually warm up the sap enough inside the tree to, uh, to thaw out the sap. And as the sap freezes and thaws and expands and contracts, it'll actually split the bark open and uh, cause a, a major split in the bark. And when you get a split like that, then the water and nutrient can't flow up properly through the tree because it, it kind of spirals up like a, like a barber pole. So as that sap and water, uh, that sap and nutrient flows up through the tree, it'll hit that split and it will stop. It can't, it can't go any farther. And so you'll see damage up in the, the top of the tree. So to prevent that, we can wrap the trees with a, a little bit of tree wrap. Now, this is a, a fabric tree wrap very very easy to do you just uh, can start unrolling that and pretty much you want to you want to just barber pull from the bottom up so we're going to do essentially the the same thing if we can get this started then it'll be a lot easier there we go and you want it to be you know fairly tight but not like tight enough that it's going to constrict the the tree so we want it snug but uh, but not too tight because as the tree grows, it's gonna it's gonna have a little bit of elasticity to the to the fabric, and so as as it grows, the fabric's gonna give a little bit. It'll 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 expand and and not bite into the tree too much. But we still want the we still want the wrap on fairly on fairly tight. Snug would be the best word to describe it. So I just continue up the tree as we go. And then what this will do is it will protect the tree through the winter time. It'll reflect a lot of that excess, uh, that, that heat off, and definitely reflect some of that light off and uh, protect the bark in there so that it won't get damaged. So as you're going up the tree, as you get up to the top of the tree where you uh, feel like you're about done, what I'll do is I'll just like leave the top loop loose and I'll feed it down through and then pull it tight and it'll stay in place just like that. And then we can cut that, cut that fabric off and then the tree will be protected. Now, this is a really small tree. I mean, it's not quite even an inch caliper in size, but uh, you can do trees up to three, four, even five inches uh, in, in diameter. And uh, by protecting those trees, you're gonna ensure that they, they don't get the damage through the winter time. They're gonna grow better for you through the summertime. I'll take it off usually about, uh, oh, end of February through March sometime and I'll usually apply it sometime in October or November maybe even December if, uh, if I forgot to do it earlier but if we put that wrap on it's going to protect that tree it's going to allow it to expand not do any damage but make sure you take it off about every four to six months and take that off let it grow through the summertime then reapply it back in the, the, the fall or the early winter time to protect it and you need to leave that uh, wrap on and you know, putting it on occasionally for a couple of years and until the tree really starts to develop its, its more rough, mature bark. And uh, once it develops that, that rough, more mature bark, they don't have to worry about wrapping it anymore. So it's basically our younger you know, saplings and uh, younger trees that are gonna need that protection through the winter time. And by doing that, you'll ensure the, the health and uh, the, the, the great growing conditions for your tree for the next couple of years.